Are you excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon? Show off your excitement with the limited edition Beware of Me Apparel. Campaign ends on October 27th, so be sure to get them before it's too late. Links on screen and in the description for your convenience. What's going on guys? Hi everybody here! Now before anything, I would like to say that this is a spoiler free video. At the time of recording this, the Sun and Moon Dex leaks are pretty fresh. They just came out a few days ago. So by the thumbnail, you may think that I spoiled the Lolan Persian for some people. But no, that's not the case. Because Serebii has noted that Alolan Persian has been revealed to the world through the front cover of the upcoming official Alolan Pokedex guide. So no spoilers here. Also, I just want to say that I was doing some research for this theory when I discovered a Reddit post which was posted way before I even began doing my research. And this person nailed this theory. So yes, this theory isn't mine, but it is a theory from the Reddit user Final Fantasy X. I'll leave the post in the description down below. Be sure to check it out after this video. Now when Alolan Persian was first leaked to the world, everyone had an issue with it. Many people disliked its design. They called it hideous, disgusting, ugly, and all sorts of other things. And while I may not share those opinions, there's no denying that there have been drastic changes to the way Persian looks. But every Alolan form has had some type of logical explanation as to why changes have occurred. With the exception of Alolan Raichu, of course, who gets away with just eating a bunch of pancakes. Alolan Executor has been exposed to a ton of sunlight. Alolan Grimer and Muck consume too many toxins. The Alolan Ninetales and Alolan Sand Slash lines have moved to icy mountains to avoid threats, and so on. So what could be the case for Alolan Persian? Well, we can actually figure this out. All we have to do is take a look at Alolan Meowth. If you look at Alolan Meowth's description on the Pokemon website, two pieces of text seem to stand out. Meowth is a Pokemon that did not originally live in the Alola region. They were sent to the Royal Line as an offering from another region, and only a select few could have them as partners. And the other one being, it is said that the Meowth that were offered to the Royal Family lived a life of luxury and pampering, which led them to have a selfish and prideful attitude. This caused Meowth's form to change. So essentially, a Alolan Meowth was a pet to show off a person's status or importance. So basically, a breed that exists for show. And if the real world has taught us anything, it's that pets like this do exist. And they have to go through a lot and a lot of selective breeding. Selective breeding is when humans decide which animal or plants other animals or plants should breed with in order to get certain traits from their offspring. For example, if you wanted a baby dog with long ears, if you had the wealth or the power, you could easily request a long-eared dog to mate with another long-eared dog so that the offspring has longer ears than both the parents. But you wouldn't get a long-eared dog to mate with a short-eared dog because one of the parents don't have the traits that you're looking for. So there's a chance that the offspring may have short ears as well. Make sense? Now since there were only a few Meowths in Alola, and since the only people that owned the Meowths were people of royalty, it's likely that these people found certain traits and kept breeding between certain Meowths, and only with those certain Meowths. Eventually down the line, this likely caused for a lot of inbreeding. Now inbreeding is when a member of a species mates with another member of the same species that is closely related to it. And this again happens with selective breeding. As there were already a limited number of Meowths in the Alola region, and the Royals were looking for certain traits to show their status, they probably kept breeding with their Meowths with close family members in order to get those certain traits. And this also happened with persons in real life. They used to look so different and very appealing, whereas now they look very similar to the Alolan Persian. Their faces and noses all turned out like this because of inbreeding and they even began to suffer from a lot of genetic disorders. Also, something very interesting to note is that regular Persian is not based off of a Persian. It is based off of a Siamese cat. And now you may be thinking, well, why didn't Game Freak just make Persian based off of a Persian? Well, they just did that with the Alolan form. And you can clearly see how everyone's reacting to it. So, I think it was a good move on Game Freak's part 20 years ago. But with all that being said, I think it's pretty evident that Alolan Persian is the result of generations upon generations of inbreeding. So I think there are two lessons that we can take from this. Lesson number one, stop IV breeding. Don't inbreed your darn Pokemon for the best stats. Yes, you're just as guilty as the Alolan Royals. You're gonna end up making a deformed, derpy looking Pokemon. So I just proved why IV breeding is worse than Gen A. So next time you Gen your Mons and someone questions it, Tell them that you're doing it for the future of Pokemon. Yeah! Lesson number two. Stop breeding pets for certain traits. You're gonna ruin their lives and their species. 
and then wasted a ton of money to start a campaign to save a species that's all messed up because of us already. Well, I think this theory is practically true. We'll find out about it in a few days. Don't hate on Alolan Persian. It didn't eat a bunch of pancakes to become like this. And besides, Alolan Persian is beautiful in its own way. I don't see you guys calling Garfield ugly. Once again, thanks to Final Fantasy X for letting me use this theory. Yes, I did get permission from him or her. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but I think this theory is 100% true. Also, guys, be sure to get your Beware of Me t-shirts if you haven't already. They're going to go away soon. October 27th is the last date. Be sure to hero punch that like button. Share this video around. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at the Hybrid Hero and on Poke Amino. My next few Pokemon videos aren't going to be Sun and Moon related. I'm kind of tired of making Sun and Moon videos, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, look out for regular Pokemon videos. All right. See you guys then. Later.